This is a very important page from the American edition of the Natural Economic Order, which was published in San Antonio, Texas, by the Free Economy Association. It's very important because it tells us how powerful the free economy movement was at that time before World War II. We can see from the information on this page on the progress of the free economy movement that it was worldwide and that it was spreading fast to all parts of the world. It was a major threat to the evil, wicked rulers of the world who control the land and natural resources and who also create and control the money supplies of the world. These evil, wicked sons of Satan created the Great Depression of the early 1930s and they prolonged it so they could take possession of all types of property millions of acres of land, factories, farms, homes, everything that they could get their greedy clutches on, they took. It didn't matter to them all the misery that they caused for millions of people throughout the world. This economic movement, the free economy movement, based upon the two great laws of Jesus Christ, free land and free money, the two laws of God that will create the kingdom of God on earth. This great movement was the wound inflicted by the sharp two-edged sword upon the beast, as is written in Revelation. The wound healed because the wicked sons of Satan stopped this movement when they created Hitler and World War II. Jesus Christ said, I come not to bring peace but a sword. He knew what would happen. That it would mean war when he came and taught us how to create the kingdom of God on earth. He knew that Satan and the sons of Satan that rule the world would do everything they could to destroy his great teachings, which teaches how to create the kingdom of God on earth. But Jesus Christ also knew that we would eventually win this great battle for freedom and for God's kingdom. He knew that would happen on the third day. What you see now is part of the second day, just as prophesied by the prophet Hosea when he wrote, in chapter 6, verse 2, on the second day he will revive us, and on the third day he will raise us up, that we may live before him. Jesus Christ foretold in Matthew chapter 22, verses 1 to 14, that on the second day his servants would be taken prisoner and tortured and killed. That's what happened here with the destruction of the free economy movement. But on the third day, we will become God's mighty army and we will destroy the wicked and create God's kingdom on earth. I will now read this page from the American edition of the Natural Economic Order, published in early 1934. Notes on the Free Economy Movement Based on the economic teachings of Silvio Gazelle, the Free Economy Movement is rapidly spreading to all parts of the world, even to far away Australia, India, and Japan. In many European countries, it is a powerful force pushing its way to the forefront and challenging all orthodox and unorthodox economic movements to give a final answer 
to its claims, achievements, and purposes. In Switzerland, for instance, according to the latest reports, nothing can prevent its ultimate victory. Businessmen, farmers, engineers, and workers, as well as teachers and ministers, priests of the Catholic Church, ministers of the Reformed faith, and others, are advocating the application of free economy with singular unanimity in that little country. In Yugoslavia, there were established from November 1933 to March 1934 more than 250 groups with more than 150,000 members of the Radical Social Party with a free economic platform. In Canada, United States, Central and South America, in Asiatic countries and Australia, the movement has been successful in launching numerous groups. Free economy is the economic order of the future. It is only a matter of time when a truly great statesman will realize the meaning of free economy and will dare to set the example for all other countries to follow. Because of the tremendous superiority of free economy over capitalism and communism, the latter are bound to succumb to it out of sheer self-interest. It is the one solvent force of all opposites in the economic world and the only neutral ground. The headquarters and addresses of various free economic organizations are listed here for the benefit of those who wish to learn more about the principles of free economy or who may desire to affiliate with the free economy group. That was written by Dr. Hugo R. Fack, the president of the free economy movement, an organization in America. And here on the next page are just a few of the many addresses throughout the world of the headquarters of the free economy movement. This gives us an idea of just how big it was prior to World War II and how the evil sons of Satan, the wicked rulers of the world, had fear of the free economy movement. Because had they allowed it to continue to grow, they would be destroyed. They would lose their power over the money and the land. And we would have the kingdom of God on earth. But that will happen now, on this, the third day. Now that this truth is exposed for all the world to see. And how they have deprived us of the kingdom of God again. They killed Jesus Christ the first time he was here when he invited us to establish the kingdom of God and they've destroyed his movement after he was here the second time when he told us exactly what to do to create God's kingdom on earth when he gave us the things which make for peace. The two great laws of God, free land and free money. But we can see here by all of these addresses throughout the world Canada, United States, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, and in Europe, Great Britain and Ireland, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, France, Holland, Czechoslovakia, Latvia, Estonia, Yugoslavia, Romania, Spain, and also in Australia. Yes, these are just a few of the many addresses throughout the world. As we read earlier, it was also in India and Japan, all over the world. Yes, this is the greatest secret in the world that the rulers of the world do not want us to know. That's why the name of Silvio Gazelle cannot be found in any encyclopedia, even though he was world famous in his economic movement and teachings. It spread all over the world before World War II.